All right, here we go. If he likes you, you'll know. Oh, I smudged on my bed. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back. Um, I'm not drinking tonight because we went golfing earlier and we had a couple shots on the course. So, this is water with a few ice cubes and a wine glass. So if you guys want, by all means, go grab yourself a nice Chardonnay or a Pinot Noir, throw in a wine glass, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let me make sure I'm good. Okay, I'm so excited because we just had new neighbors move in next door. And it's so cool because they're our age. And then I'm like, Reed, we should probably go buy them like a cake or like make them cookies or something like that. And be like, welcome in neighbor. We just don't know like the appropriate time to do that because they just moved in like two, three days ago. So like, do you wait a couple days or is it like the first day you see them? I don't really know. I don't really know how that works, but um, they're super cool. And I see them in the morning and I'm like, good morning, neighbor. And they're like, good morning. And it's, yeah, anyways, it's cute. It's fun. Today I was talking to one of my friends. She just went out on a date and she was so excited because she was like, I haven't seen him in like seven years. We went to the same high school and yada, yada, yada. Long story short, she went on a date with him and she's like, he's so fun. Like I had the best time, but I don't know if he likes me. So I thought that would make a great episode of if he likes you, you will know. If he doesn't, you will be left confused. I'm sure you've heard it all over TikTok, and I'm almost positive that you guys have probably encountered something like that. I'm grabbing my not so wine wine. You see, I have three things to say about this. There's three, and actually, let me get my phone for this because I wrote them down earlier. Okay, here are my topics. If he likes you, you will know. If he wanted to, he would. And if you're cute, for lack of better words, if you're his type, he'll show interest, right? Or he'll respond. Let's start there, shall we? Let's just dive right into it. Men are very black and white right? It's either yes or it's no. Women, however, love to live at that like in-between, always asking questions, trying to change the narrative. Oh, I'm gonna throw all my shades. Let's say you're feeling yourself one night, right? You're with your girlfriends, they're hyping you up, they're gassing you up, maybe you're a shot or two deep, maybe you had a glass of wine, you're feeling just, you're feeling, you're feeling yourself, right? You're like, you know what? I want to shoot this guy a DM. I'm gonna shoot my shot. I'm gonna slide right in. If that guy does not respond, he's not into it. He, he doesn't find you attractive. Um, he's probably flattered, but he's just not, he's not going to respond because you're not his type. Men are very black and white. If they see what they like, then they're going to go after it. And if they don't like what they see, then they're kind of just going to leave it and, you know, move on. I don't give a shit what anybody says. We live in a world where everybody's like this. Okay, so for some guy to say, oh, I'm so sorry, like I didn't see your DM, he's full of shit. The guy is full of shit. Everybody sees it. I see it, you see it, all my friends see it, all the big creators, celebrity, whatever you want to call them, they all see it. Unless you're Massimo from 365 days, that really like ripped hot dude, right, with all the tats, who gets probably like 100,000 DMs a day from just like a plethora of women, but that guy's probably not seeing his DMs. However, many of us are. The 99.99999% of people in this world are. You know why? Because we're all glued to our phones and we always want that validation. And we want to see the likes and the comments and who's direct messaging us and, and who's mentioning and tagging us and, and all that bullshit, right? Let's make things clear. If he finds you attractive, he will respond. If he doesn't find you attractive, he won't respond. Done, very simple. If he doesn't respond within a couple of days, he's just not into it. The odds of him like not seeing, not seeing it, come on, man. Like, yeah, no, come on. Next to piggyback off of that, <clears throat> number two, if he wanted to, he would. I don't really think I'm telling you anything you don't already know, but I'm just gonna give you the tough love. I really am. Listen, babe, I love you, but if he's not putting in the effort, he just doesn't like you like that. Okay, maybe he just doesn't see you guys like that. Maybe you're kind of having this preconceived notion of just being like, oh, like, you know, maybe he's playing hard to get. And yes, there are times when like guys play hard to get, but like, let's be honest, if he wanted to, if he really liked you, he would put in the effort to make that date or take you on that picnic or go for a, you know, a walk. Like guys, if they like you, if they truly, truly like you, they will do anything in their power just to spend time with you. That's really what it comes down to. Is like if a guy genuinely likes, enjoys your company, he will do everything in his power to be with you. He will drop everything at work. He will skip out on the boys' nights. He will skip out on parties just to spend time with you. I'm going to tell you guys a story. 
on if he likes you, you'll know, and if he wanted to, he would. Three years ago, I was really head over heels for this one girl. Big singer, super cool, just like cool vibes, and I was like really into her. Um, this might be a little over the top, but again, I'm just like a hopeless romantic. I like to live my life like a movie, right? Like a, like a Disney movie. So the way I plan things is very just like elaborate and extravagant and just just out of this world. I asked this girl three years ago to be my Valentine. She said yes, and instead of just doing dinner and chocolates and flowers and you know whatever i i set the bar right i set the bar so fucking high that all my friends the following valentine's days were like troy where did you go what did you do where's the contact i love telling the story i really do um so i apologize if it's long but it's good it's good it's a good one anyways my uncle owns an airstream in the malibu hills if you don't know what an airstream is let me show you here airstream it looks like this I don't know if you could see that. I hope. Anyways, yeah, so that's an Airstream, right? So my uncle owns one in the hills of Malibu, like overlooking PCH, overlooking the ocean. You could see like the Malibu Pier off to the right. It's the perfect date spot. So I hit up my uncle like two weeks in advance and I go, hey, Gar, like, can I use the Airstream for Valentine's Day? He was like, yeah, Troy, of course. You don't have to, you don't have to ask. I was like, sweet. Come Valentine's Day, I make my friend wake up at like nine in the morning and we drive an hour out to Malibu to prep this entire Airstream, right? I wanted to make sure that everything was perfect, everything was done right, and just like it looked good, clean, classy, just like it looked picture perfect. So we get there and I'm cleaning the whole Airstream, I'm putting, you know, candles over here and roses over here and I'm fixing the little like, I'm fixing the, the forks and knives and spoons. Long story short, I spent like two, three hours cleaning this Airstream with my friend. He's like, dude, can we go home, please? And I'm like, no, no, I gotta make sure it's perfect. So we clean this entire Airstream, right? Go home, it's like one, two in the afternoon and I text her and I go, hey, I'll, I'll be over at like six o'clock to pick you up. She's like, perfect, sounds good. So I go home, shower, you know, clean up, I run over to Whole Foods, I get some food, I get some flowers and then I head over to her house like 10 minutes early and I'm sitting like the other street parallel to hers because I don't want her to see me like sitting outside like waiting for her I just wanted to make sure that I was on time this starts this sounds like really creepy I don't know if this sounds like creepy or not but like I just really liked her. I really cared about her like if I wanted to I would and that's exactly what I did so come like six o'clock or maybe it's seven I don't know um, I say, hey, like your chariot awaits. And she like comes outside and I pick her up and she's like all smiley and she brings me like something cute. I forget what it was, but I gave her the flowers and I was like, happy Valentine's Day. So I think I had told her that it was like, we were just going to dinner or something. Cause I love surprises. It's like my thing and I'm very good at them. So we drive like 45 minutes out to Malibu and we go like up this hill. She's like, where are we going? And I was like, oh, it's this cool spot. Don't worry. And so we pull up we park and I say hey wait in the car real quick like give me a second and she's like okay like what what's going on and so I run into the airstream she could see the back of the airstream but she can't see that's like on a cliff like overlooking the entire beach right and I went into the airstream and I lit some candles I turned on Frank Sinatra and I had roses like perched up for like when she comes in and I said hey you're good you could come in right and so she like walks in and I have a bottle of wine in one hand and a glass in another and I'm pouring wine as she walks in and I was like happy Valentine's Day and she like the look on her face said it all that's all I really have to say is just like like I crushed it I I hands down I said the bar was just here that night and for everyone else around me and I was so happy and just like so proud of myself for putting this on and this really just all kind of goes back to like if he wanted to he would and again this is an extreme like this is too much but just saying like if he really likes you like put in the effort right he's not just gonna hit you up for like a 2 a.m booty call or a you up text at like 12 o'clock in the morning right like it just that's just not you know that's not gonna fly with them so i don't know if you want me to keep telling the story but i love the story so i'm gonna keep on going anyways so she comes in she's like oh my god this is so cute like 
you know, thank you so much. She was like so appreciative and I love that she was like so thankful for it. And it really like meant a lot for me that she just like, she could see like the time that I put into it. So we went outside and we just like had a glass of wine and just snuggled up and just talked for hours and like, you know, watched the stars and just heard the waves crashing down below. I guess they had like a movie screen come down in, th in, the, in the thing and so we're watching a movie. And then there was a bed in the back of the Airstream. So we like spent the night. And it was just so picture perfect. And it was just, it was awesome. That's the tone that a guy who really truly cares about you is going to do. You know, again, it's it's just the thought that counts. So to me, making a reservation on Open Table is very easy. That takes two seconds to go online, type in Jennifer 2, Thursday night, eight o'clock, let's see what's open. Jing, 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 jing. It takes a little bit more for someone to think, hey, I want to take this girl to like a really cute picnic. like. I want to plan on going here. I'll pick her up at this time. I want this kind of food or this kind of like charcuterie board, small bites, whatever, um, kind of wine, kind of flowers. That takes a little extra step. Fun dates to me mean a lot more than, I'm not knocking dinners because I'm a huge advocate for dinners. Absolutely love a solid dinner. Like, you know, sit down, have a glass of wine and just talk for hours. Like, I love it. Like, But maybe just like a couple dates in, um, he starts like, you know, he really starts thinking outside the box which i think means a lot to you hopefully because it means a lot to us as well and um again just a guy who really wanted to he would just put in the effort he would take the time out of his day to talk to you if he wanted to text you he would if he wanted to call you he would if he wanted to facetime you he would like i said men are very black and white so like if he likes you he's gonna do it if he wanted to he would i hate like beating a dead horse but it's like I have to say it over and over and over for you guys to like get it ingrained in your brain because sometimes girls are just like, yeah, but like, no, just stop. Stop at the butt. Like if he wanted to, he would. If he didn't want to, he's not going to. You already know if he wanted to. You already know this. So stop playing this. Oh, well, what if? Or maybe he didn't see the text. You know, he's busy. Like, no, no. I don't care how busy he is or anybody for that matter. You make time for those that you want to make time for. That's it. Period. Straight. Done. I need some water. People make time for those they want to make time for. It's plain and simple. Let's say I'm having like a boys night on like a Thursday or a Friday, right? Like all the guys are like, oh, let's go to like a baseball game. And I'm like, yeah, I'm down, I'm down. But then this girl that I really like or I really want to take out is only free like that Friday night. I'm most likely going to drop the boys night and go hang out with this girl that I like really care about solely because if I wanted to, I would. It kind of leaves you at, if he likes you, you'll know. If he's like, oh, like, you know, I'm gonna go off and like, you know, do this, maybe we can link up another time. Again, it's, it's situational and there are circumstances, you know, let's say like they had planned this huge trip for like months or a year. You should understand why he or she is going on that trip, but you just will know if he likes you, you will. So if you're asking yourself right now, does he like me? I don't want to come off as rude. I'd rather just save you like the waste of time. No, he doesn't. So anyways, to reiterate, if he finds you attractive, he will give you the time of day. He will sit there and flirt with you. He'll respond to your DM. And then it goes into if he wanted to, he would. He'll ask for your number. He'll take you out on dates. And then it goes into if he likes you, you'll know. And if he doesn't like you, you'll end up being confused. If he likes you, you'll know. Like he'll start introducing you to the family. He'll start taking around like all of his friends. He'll start canceling other plans that he had with other people just to spend time with you. If he doesn't like you so much, He'll probably just go hang out with the boys, you know, or go meet up with other women or, you know, just be like, oh, you know, I'm tired tonight and come up with some lame ass excuse where you're just like, really, dude, like this is the third time this week. Or he just sees you as like a booty call and he'll hit you up at like two in the morning on a Saturday and be like, hey, you know, what are you doing? If you're constantly going over there and you like him, but you know he only sees you as, you know, a booty call, Girl, you're so much better than that. And you know that. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. But you better pick up your damn standards. And you better tell this boy no. And you turn around, walk away. And guess what's going to happen? He's going to come running straight back to you. Men love the chase. People love the chase. Everybody loves the chase. But men specifically love the chase. They love what they can't have. So if a girl tells us no, to us it's like, okay, game on. Like until they get it or they win you over, 
It's a total game and they absolutely love that shit and we will do anything in our power to win that game. If you guys both know, all right, we're in this for just our needs, have fun, do your thing. But if you like him and you know you like him and you know he doesn't like you, like, come on, come on, we're done. We're not doing that. We're dropping it. And there are thousands of other men that would love to take you out. They would love to treat you like the gift that you are. If he finds you attractive, he will respond. If he wanted to, he would. And last but not least, if he likes you, you will know. If you're confused right now, if you're asking yourself all these questions, no. No. You'll know. Because this, oh, and that is my cue. Screw this fake one. I'm gonna actually go get a glass of wine, chill out, and sit by the fireplace. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you're down to your last sip, slam it. If you're on a Jack and Coke, slam it. If you have a shot in your glass, slam it. Again, if he likes you, you will know. If you're confused right now, drop that ass on somebody else. Um, um, I'm so bad with the whole like, like, comment, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, but it actually goes a long way. Also, if you guys have any like situations or like questions that you want answered, I'm putting my email in the bio. So just feel free to like, email me like anything that you got going on and I'd be happy to answer it on my next podcast. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Finish your wine and um, yeah. Anyways, I love you and see.